Hey, once again, I'm Kiel David, your host for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. I'm back with a bonus of Let's Play Grand Theft Auto 5, which is the 10th anniversary of its release on September the 17th, 2013. That's already out. It's about three. It's a three-part gaming walkthrough of Let's Play since I debuted it on Sunday the 17th. But now, I'm back in GTA 5, only it's GTA Online we're focused on, which was released October 1st, 2013, two weeks, exactly two weeks after the release of Grand Theft Auto 5 on September the 17th of 2013. So, we're gonna do a Let's Play GTA bonus, focused on GTA Online. So without any further ado, grab a drink, Get situated and let's get it on. Notice I am in a public lobby. But I'm gonna switch characters. Character swap. So you get like a, like you're in a lineup, like at a police station, where if you have choice between one of two avatars, like you got the male one and the female one, this is the male one, and you can also name them and give them some cosmetic, ethnicity, genetic, ethnic features, what have you. It could be black, white, Hispanic, Asian, Middle Eastern. And I think it's a challenge for game developers to refrain from using licensed music, especially for us content creators. So we don't have to be plagued with copyright strikes against our channels and fear of getting uh, ours struck down or deleted or deactivated as that's known to happen. And as I mentioned before, previously in Grand Theft Auto, let's, the let's play of Grand Theft Auto 5 is that I am a PC gamer, but I use controller. I understand many gamers use keyboards, but I can't because of lack of dexterity and motor skills. So I'm a controller person. And one thing about many public lobbies is that we have griefers. In addition to griefers, there are some people who purposely crash the game. And of course, that goes against the Rockstar Games How's Social you? Club. Uh, what Whatever. do you call it? it? Terms of conditions or terms of service. Just wanted to let you know I can Which make means it to the a permanent ban. But anyway, I'm going to go in my own lobby. I love your culture, man. So alive. I'm going to go in my own You're lobby. So, when you start GTA Online initially, you start off, like, completely naked. I mean that figuratively, meaning that you don't have a weapon until Lamar greets you at the airport. But with the Criminal Enterprise Pack, you're actually going to get some starting businesses, however they're in the shittiest of locations. You're gonna get a bunker that's far off. The cheapest bunker in the lowest, low end, furthest location ever. So, where am I gonna go? Oh yeah, I need to go to the casino. So you got the map. And since the release of GTA Online, which of course has been another, has been 10 years from October the 1st, there's been so much DLC content 
mostly for online than it is than for story mode. And there's been several over the years, several DLCs. One in particular is the contract, which features Dr. Dre. Yes, that Dr. Dre. His likeness, his music, and even everything appears in that where you had to get his music back from people who have leaked it. And you'll get paid for it. So, I'm going to go on the map as an example. There's also the Doomsday Heist, where you're preventing the end of the world with the help of a tech billionaire, so you think. So, we're going to go to, oh yes, even the casino. Which there were two, it was a two part DLC with, with the casino where you get to use the casino to gamble, and then you have to rob the casino. Uh, it's for four on Saturday evening. And then there was, of course, Kyle Perico, Los Auto Santos Auto Tuners, and the recent oh, Los Santos Drug oh, Wars, part one and part two, and then there is the uh, Los Santos. Los Santos, uh, the uh, Mercenaries DLC, which also has mixed reviews. So anyway, we're going to the casino. Hey, Speaking of casino, this is Akin There's the Baker. There's been a development with the attempted buyout, and we may need your help. Please swing by my office as soon as you can. I need to make an adjustment to the screen here. Changes. Hopefully, this doesn't restart me. Okay, much better. Much, much better. may not be able to see all my screen, but, but there's also the uh, nightclub DLC where you get to own a nightclub and characters that are previously appeared in Grand Theft Auto 4, especially the uh, DLC which was the Lost and Damn, the Battle of the Gay Tony. Tony Prince makes an appearance where you get to own a nightclub, but the purpose of the nightclub is it's supposed to be a legitimate business, but it's a front for you, your illicit businesses, which is your gun running, your drug running, etc., etc. But you get a daily take with a legitimate nightclub, so Tony takes care of that for you. He's your advisor. And if you have a casino pet house, you get so many privileges and perks. But you can also get valet, just as long as your vehicle isn't. Okay. As long as it's not a weaponized vehicle, you could actually have valet, as you just saw. Hopefully the music's been shut off. Because a lot of environments in GTA Online, as well as the story mode, end up with music play, licensed music. So, as I said, I'm not trying to get copyright strikes against my channel. The casino store is open. Come so, dress like you deserve success. I'm gonna make sure I, oh yeah, my chips are empty, so I'm just gonna go to the... Once per day, you get to spin the lucky wheel, which you win something every time. But every so often, you do win a vehicle. So the spinning wheel, round, round, how far it goes where exactly, nobody knows, so let's turn that. I get to give half Hmm, more chips. Okay. And you can play the games, by the way. So let's run through the casino and play some uh, table games. We're just going to play something simple as a blackjack. It doesn't matter if I lose them or not. Because I already have 32 million... 127,798 dollars, so 
What's 20,000 chips? When you are a VIP at this casino, you get to play at the high stakes table in addition to having your own penthouse. And you can also have a, a games table, a table game in your suite, in your penthouse suite as well. So you can play privately with some friends or by yourself. That's cool. You got slot machines. So we're going to go to the table games, which is this way. Oh, there we are. This is the high stakes, high limit table where you can bet bet more at your own risk. You got that. So we're gonna go to over here. We're gonna play that's three card poker. Or we're gonna try blackjack. That's three card poker. I'm gonna try blackjack. So you play to get 21. You get 21, you win, or you get blackjack. So let's do a bet here. We're gonna bet simple five grand, five thousand. Let's begin. There's a 14, a nine. Would you like a card? Yeah, hit me. You might bust. Okay, I'm standing. There's a 19. Ooh, I would. Perfect. Very good. All right, bets in. Let's try again. Sorry, all bets are closed. A 14. A 10. Let's see here. I'm gonna stand just to be safe. But this time the dealer wins. A fifteen. That's Oops. a bust for the house. Guess not. <laughs> I bet wisely. Woohoo. Place your bets, folks. All bets are closed. Let's begin. There's a sixteen. Stand. There's an eleven. Oh, he got a black jack. Blackjack for you. And there the we go. Wins. Yep, that's my first loss, so let's try that. Bets, please. But to me it doesn't Sorry, matter, no I lose all my chips. Close. Twelve. Hit. There's a seven. Would you like a card? Too much. <laughs> Man. A seventeen. Win goes to the dealer. This game is rigged. All right, bets in. All bets are closed. Let's begin. We got an eight. A nineteen. Stand. Two. Another. There's a ten. There's a twenty. Oh, beat me. And the dealer wins. So I'm gonna cash out my chips anyway. Place your bets, folks. Bet it all. Sorry, in. all bets are closed. Now at the high limit table you can go more, you can bet actually more, like up to I think There's fifty thousand. Card for you. Stand. Have sixteen. He's gonna bust. Huh. bust on the Told you. There's actually strategies to people who know how to play the game. That's please. I'm not a gambler by All any means. Let's be and I actually detest it. There's a fifteen. A ten. Would you like a card? I'm gonna hit. Bust. A seven. Okay, stand. Another? A fifteen. That's a ha! Bust for the bust it again. All right, bets in. Sorry, all bets are closed. There's a 19. Standing. There's a 10. Card for you. There's a 17. Haha, <laughs> take that. Place your bets, folks. All bets are closed. Let's begin. A 19. Standing. Seven. Would you like a card? 
an 18. Haha. <laughs> I think I'm gonna leave the table now, just to be safe. Best to leave while you're ahead. Got that all right. I ain't no sucker. But and roulette is pretty risky, so I'm not messing with that. So here's a high stakes table. That's three card poker ain't doing that. Hey Blackjack is full. So let's get out of here. And when you've got enough money, you can turn right to the counter to the front end and cash in all your chips and there's random side conversations between regulars and then there's also missions here nice to see you. the highlight area indicates that there's a mission for the casino Hello? and that's the strong arm tactics There's the lounge area. If you can, I've won the podium here go several times. And sometimes it's gonna be, it could be a really crappy vehicle. I would get some drinks at the bar, but there's that bachelorette couple, the maid of honor and the bachelorette. Just wait till you see the next. Derek Hart. Oh god, you are <laughs> relentless. Let's go get some champagne. It's an excellent year. Superbly balanced. Usually I just get the Richard's whiskey. Blue dirt, blue dirt. So you get to shake it up before you drink it. You tap on A. I wish I could just spray it on the people, on the NPCs. So. With the purpose of this GTA Online, I'm going to be giving the tours of the DLC and the businesses that I have and the businesses you can buy. So, this is what you can expect. Nothing major. No major missions. So I gotta tap really fast. First person view. Just wait till you see the next You can spray them on people like I said. You are relentless. So this is the clothing store. This is the uh, store where you, you pay in chips. You're probably right. Where you can actually pay for stuff in chips. You got everything from apparel to uh, accessories like jewelry, glasses, watches, you name it. Even mask. So anyway. Some of the repeat NPC dialogue is annoying. And Just wait till you see the next dare card. Oh god, you are <laughs> relentless. Ties. But they only you only can get them when you're wearing compatible outfits. So that's why it's faded out like this. Glasses. And some of the stuff I already bought. You can even buy stuff for your penthouse as well. But let's look at some outfits. Last ride before she's a bride. Get her while she's hot, boy. Pants. Stop it! So embarrassing. Well, the skinny crap. Wait I hate till it. you see the Crystal. next dare car. Oh God, you are <laughs> relentless. Taste when it comes to me. Running shoes, hoof, loafers, sports clothes, no way. There's tops, and you got sure pants and shoes. Pilots in here. Must take quite a dusting, all right. But it, You'd hope so at these prices. We get full suits. <gasps> Did you take your pills this morning? Yes, dear. Let me know if you need help. That's the counter person. Oh, sorry. Penthouse decorations. See? You can buy some. Uh, 
and it's dollar for dollar based on how many chips you have available on your your currency of course are poker chips floor pieces like statues there's even this one statue I already had that's somewhat inappropriate, but I like it. Sure is spotless in here. Look at Must the cherries. Dusty, all right. That's you cool. So at these prices. <gasps> Did you take your pills this morning? Yes, dear. Dog. Yeah, but this one is the temptation of Elijah. It looks like she's twerking. The twerking statue is what I call it. Rise of Omiris. Inflated ego. Get it? Tabletop pieces. Modern art. Watch case. Oh yeah, I don't mind buying that. Male dancer. Female dancer. Watch case? Why not? I'll buy it. Racist in here. Only in that. Los Santos. I wanted to get something for Bart for watching the animals. Exorbio, it no looks like a serene. penis. I don't say dick. Oh, I already I said it. This looks like a Monopoly like. piece. Look at that. Yeah, that's <laughs> sports. If sports are your bag. Besides, Barb would never thank you for any of this fancy doohickey. <sighs> Mallership. <laughs> and you can. When you get into your pet house. You can actually customize it with all these artifacts and artwork, artwork paraphernalia you've, you've bought. And then you can also like, I got a blackjack table which I can play. So I'm about to show you that casino space. I mean my uh, pet house space. Was he a real cop? So. We gotta go upstairs. First, we're gonna go up to the roof terrace. So this is the Diamond Casino and Resort, or the Diamond Resort and Casino, whatever you call it. So at night, this is what you got. Traffic was backed up for miles. Got a pool. Got pool, jacuzzi. You automatically like get into your swim trunks or swimsuit if you're a female. Train. Holy Moses, take public transportation. Come you can on, sit man. down. First person view. Up. The city you get up. Later. Look at that. I'm on top of the umbrella. There's even a pool area right here. Swimming. Water's fine. Piss off, Don. Dom the douchebag. Suit's kind of wet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sometimes I like to take out the fire up and then shoot it, shoot it up. Watch this. I'm a <laughs> Slap! Get up! Run, sucker! Take that! What's my name now? Now, we're going to check out the music locker. And that's another benefit of residence at this casino. Free admission into the music locker. You even get drinks for free. How cool is that? And like before, I turn off the music. But there's three featured DJs, including... DJ Moody Man, aka KDJ, Kinder Music, and Palm Tracks. This is a bathroom, and believe it or not, it's actually unisex, which I kind of don't get, and it's popular in California. 
it's just because I don't want to be in the same where well, the opposite sex use the bathroom. It's disgusting. At least in my opinion. Which is a fact. So let's go into this room. This is the inside of the music locker. Now your nightclub is similar. And this is uh, Kinder Music there from Germany. They're a three-man DJ group. So you can dance holding the left trigger and there's the controls for certain types of dances you can do. Cinematic camera move. In the Cayo Panico DLC, where you get to rob this war criminal person, he has his own night spot. I mean, he has his own nightclub outside the patio, which the party just runs constantly. But I'm gonna have some GTA Machinima featuring that DLC as well. I just gotta give it a proper name. But anyway, this is the group known as Kinder Music. stop right there and this control actually vibrates because music is playing now if I go over this area this is where Martin Madrazo's son Mini Miguel Madrazo is and his mother Mrs. Madrazo Patricia this is Jorge and this is their uh, entourage party hey what's up Now when you first enter into the music locker, there's going to be an opening cutscene where you're introduced to Mini Madrazo and he sells you on the Cayo Perico heist and the robbing of El Rubio and the reason why you're going to rob him because he has some in possession of some damning, incriminating blackmail material that's going to be, that would debase the Madrazo brand. And not only outrage his father, but cause a, a general risk. So, that. So now, you can go get some free drinks. So this is special. This is Sinstro. Tequila. It's the uh, Casa Fortunatas. Tequila. Tequila. So watch this. Down the hatch. Uh, excuse me. Don't sit in my microphone. That's hilarious. And when you have that many drinks, depending on how drunk you can get, you can actually black out and end up someplace random. So, if you get, for example, this is what happens if you get the other, get the other drink that's way too strong. Like there's this way too strong uh, Mac Macbeth whiskey. Watch what happens. I'm guaranteed to fall out. It's the Macbeth whiskey shot. I end up falling out. And I'm guaranteed to pass out. Watch what happens. Don't drink, folks. Don't drink, kids. Watch this. This is it. I'm probably gonna throw up too. Yeah. Watch what happens. No matter where you're gonna. I tried to think I would dance it off, but I just look at that. See that? Passed out. I turned up a little too much. And watch what happens. You end up in some random place, either outside or in the bathroom.
See? It's a random place. Don't even know where I am. Look at this. Oh, I'm right behind the casino track. Look at that. I'm in the back of the casino where there's the racetrack. Screw you, Simeon. Now I'm just gonna go inside the casino. My casino penthouse specifically. Specifically, so there's and this is probably a good time that if you are new to my channel, if you like what you see so far, please feel free to do me a solid and subscribe to the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel for some more Let's Play as well as some making that GTA content in 2023, 2024, and beyond. So this is my penthouse suite. Now, when you buy a penthouse, you go through two ways. One, at the front desk of the casino, or you pull up your phone and go right to the uh, in-game internet. In this case, the, uh, let's see, the Diamond Casino and Resort, Los Santos. This is this full-fledged website. It says here, Experience Elegance, the Diamond, the diamond Vinewood's Crown Jewel. Experience opulence, the casino. You heard the rumors. You want to believe them, and there's only one way to find out. Abandon your preconceptions. Let go of your inhibitions, your doubts, your sense of proportion, your credit rating. <laughs> the rumors didn't begin to do it justice. Welcome to the diamond. Experience decadence, the penthouse, the penthouses. An oasis of calm wrapped in layers of sensuous delight, dust with our patented mixture of nuance and sophistication, lovingly arranged on a bed of raw entitlement, all placed delicately into the lap of luxury. This is where you belong. So, there's the more info tab. Select that. Experience affluence, the diamond standard. If life is a game, this is is the jackpot. Here, your dreams are reality, and your reality is a dream. Here, every whim can be satisfied, every fantasy fulfilled. Here, there are no restrictions, no limitations, no windows, no clocks, and no clearly labeled exits. Welcome to the Diamond Standard. Experience eminence, the table games. Don't be fooled. Roulette, blackjack, three-card poker. At the diamond, these aren't games. Every card dealt, every spin of the wheel, every polished quip, every gasp of the crowd, every delusion of grandeur. This is art. Experience overconfidence, the slots. Here at the diamond, we understand the fine art of the slot machine. We recognize the split-second re reflexes, the years of research and training, the rock-solid intuition, and the towering IQ that makes a true master. That's right. We've been waiting for you. Experience subservience. Inside track. Horse racing is a sport of kings, and inside track is the only way to experience it. The drama. The majesty. The excitement. The perfectly... Simulated aroma of freshly cut turf and, hor and hot manure. Ugh. All without leaving the comfort of a, b of a b bespoke air-conditioned suite. Experience Tumescence. Lucky wheel. Some people say that fortune favors the brave. Here at the Diamond, we riders say that destiny favors those with a full Diamond membership. Spin the wheel once a day and you're guaranteed a prize and a massive dose of self-importance every time. Experience incontinence. <laughs> the shop. There are some things in life that money can't buy, but don't fret. We throw, it in, we throw in for free with every purchase 
from our in-house store. We fill them in for free with every purchase from our in-house store. Experienced residents, the penthouses, the only way you'll ever have to, the only regret you'll ever have at the Diamond Casino and Resort is the moment you leave. But why accept even that perfection? With one of our state-of-the-art, fully customizable seven-star penthouses, you can finally say goodbye to the outside world for good. Re-experience adolescence. Parking. We understand it's not just a car. It's a part of you. And if you're a member with us, we'll take that part of you and store it safe and sound where it belongs in a maximum security subterranean storage unit. Experience experiences. How to find us. On the corner of Vinewood Park Drive and Mirror Park Boulevard beneath the the Tata the Tatvian, there we go, the Tatvian Mountains to the east and the west, to the east, and the Vinewood sign to the west, at the intersection of ecstasy and self abandonment. So, let's look at the options. Experience and prudence. Renovate your penthouse. What's that you say? You are hoping to make extravagant additions to the most opulent living space on the planet? Step right this way. Begin. So you got the floor plan. You got all these extra options. You can even have like a movie theater. Media room. Never again will you have to suppress your gag reflux as you rub Never again will you have to susp- suppress your gag reflex as you rub shoulders with the general public in the cinema. In addition, you'll be able to f- you'll be able you'll be free to enjoy. Don't cross the line on the big screen with friends. Spa. Your private spa comes with a round the clock personal stylus and a hot tub infused with the extract of jo- joba and a disasso- and a disassociative anesthetic and aesthetic. Bar and party hub. Why go out to a nightclub when a nightclub can come to you? The most exclusive venue in town is the one where you're in charge of the guest list. Two exclusive arcade games come as standard with a choice of two styles. Private dealer. A private table for blackjack and three card poker with the best view and the most differential croupier croupier in town. Office. Sometimes you need to take care of business, but there's no reason for you should have to leave the lap of luxury to do it. All of our offices come with a gun locker and a hidden safe as a standard. Extra bedroom. We all have that one friend, and with the expansion, they have somewhere to crash that isn't your bidet, and with access to their personal wardrobe, they won't have to keep borrowing your clothes. Garage. Home just doesn't feel like home unless you have 10 hypercars in a well-guarded basement. Notice how whatever you selected in your package when it comes to the renovation of your penthouse is purple with a check mark. Anything that's not purple and doesn't have a check to it means that those are options you can add. So for example, if I wanted to have a media room, it would cost run me about five hundred thousand dollars. But I don't, so we'll take that out. If I wanted to have a par bar and party hub, which is the nightclub, it's only seven hundred thousand dollars. And if you can get the both of these, so far you'll be looking at one million two hundred thousand dollars. But I don't want either of those, so I'm gonna uncheck them. Then there's the extra bedroom. Extra bedroom will run you two hundred thousand dollars. Extra garage. It's a discount on the garage. Home just doesn't feel like home unless you have 10 hypercars. Oh, yeah. Garage. So we'll take that out. Then you've got the color schemes. I chose with the this color palette. The vibrant as opposed to timeless. And as opposed to sharp. You can actually preview to see what they look like. See? But it will run you about 
thousand and five hundred to get that look. If we go with timeless, it's only one hundred seventy-two thousand and five hundred. But we'll keep that at vibrant. Then we go to patterns. You can see how the prices change. And then when you're ready to buy, you just hit next and you're good to go. So there's that. That's the casino. So let's go look around. Places to sit. You can watch television. You can even shower. You can even shower. This is where you'll sleep. Now let's make some adjustments with the uh, artifacts. Under penthouse management, we go to place decorations. So, depending on what location you want things to be, let's try the uh, lounge area. Entrance hall. That's the statue I got. Dealer room, office, so we're going to select what I previously bought. Mini Hermes. The Statue of Happiness. <laughs> Where's the one with the watches? Let's go to the master bedroom. I did buy some watches. Let's try the office. Skip that. You can even order certain services when you pick up the phone. Some services are free, others are paid. So keep that in mind. So you just pick up the phone. From you get everything from valet. Trips to the airport. And this is Tom Connors. Tom Connors here. How can I help you, sir? You can acquire chips. You get champagne service. Now, if you did get the uh, bar renovation, you can have the members party. If you have a garage, uh, you, you get there? valet service. You got limousine service, aircraft concierge, where they can get you your aircraft and fly you out. So you Call hang back up. if you need something, day or night. Okay, there's that. Now let's get back downstairs. Now you see these rooms, these extra rooms, these indicate the expansion of the bedroom. So you go onto the website. Here's where you can get tipsy. Step away from the table. Now here. This is the media room. Can't, you can't go in there yet because you have to buy the space for it. So, I pick up the phone, right? 
go to the penthouse and see if I wanted to add the media room. It's only going to run me $500,000. But you'll be able to watch on here. And then also here you can play. You can play actually have your own private blackjack with three other people. Or by yourself. You'll always have a dealer. This is my um, decorations and artifacts I had bought. Statue of Happiness. It's a parody of the Statue of Liberty and Hillary Clinton. This is the uh, spa area. Place to swim, but you go get a makeover. Free haircut. To be perfectly honest, I don't really like the hairstyles. Beards. Eyebrows, makeup, eye. Lipstick. Eyebrows. You can even adjust the colors, the opacity level as well. We're not gonna mess with any of that. You can also jump in the jacuzzi and the hot tub. Tub. Gonna get in the water. Yep. Probably gonna do some role play type stuff. You can actually go shower. This one is the bar expansion, which is where you'll have the nightclub. You'll have your own bar. They have your own private parties. This is also the office. So when you're transacting business, you can sit at your desk. So sit down. Try to sit down. Which time we got? So almost about an hour into this. I'm about to get onto the floor. We're actually going to get outside. This is the office area. You got your desk. You have the option of getting a gun locker and a fireproof and a hidden wall safe. So sit down here. to access the internet. Buy cars. And the cars are going to be, I guess, much more expensive online than in the story mode.
So keep that in mind. I think we've seen everything there is to see, so let's bail out of here. This is uh, where I can switch my clothing. Bedroom, bath. Okay, we've seen everything, so let's get out of here. Now, if your place does get messy, you can also call the maid, which is free of charge, and she'll clean the place up. Go to the casino. Hello, Tom Connor. The casino store is open. Come dress like you deserve success. Let's call for my ballet. Housekeeping did an excellent job with the play level. Actually, the car is already outside, so let's get out. Open your eyes, asshole! This is the weapons wheel. I'm sorry. We have a selection of weapons that you can buy. Or some weapons you can get for free. So get back in the car. Notice I have a custom license plate, which Rockstar Games Social Club had brought back. Initially, they had gotten rid of it. A nightclub, so let's get there. There's even a movie theater that's based off of the uh, man's Chinese theater in real life. It's called the Oriental Theater. So here's my night spot. Got people outside, this club never closes. Get the club goers right here, the party people. What up? You are straight. Hey, Brosif. Go inside. What? Are you yeah, I'm down for some clubbing. Reverend? Where are you thinking? So there's several locations that have put your nightclub, but in Blaine County. You can't put your nightclub there because Blaine County is completely rural. Completely a rural place. So I got Bye nightclub bye. staff. I'm always free because I own it. That's my security. Now when you get the uh, nightclub DLC, you first you'll get a text from Tony Prince to buy a nightclub. And once you do, you're introduced to the cutscene where even Lazlo reappears. So, drinks are for free. And you can upgrade your staff, your security, and everything. But the main purpose of this nightclub, as I mentioned before, is a front business for your illicit activity, which is your biker businesses, your uh, CEO businesses, etc., etc., which is all larger. And you get four real life DJs who make their appearance in Grand Theft Auto online as part of the nightclub DLC. This one is Dixon from Germany. And that's his actual likeness as well as his voice. You also have the starting DJ Solomon from, um, from Yugoslavia. You also have uh, Tail of Us from Italy. And you have the Blessed Madonna, who was originally called the Black Madonna, but according to change.org, there was a petition for her to get her name changed from the Black Madonna to the Blessed Madonna. Even though it's been grandfather that her 
DJ alias The Black Madonna remains in GT Online, despite her being forced to have it in her DJ handle changed. So you've got brand, you got whiskey, wine, and whatever that is. From time to time, you'll see Tony Prince in parts of the nightclub. Sometimes he's in the back office right where you are. Other times is he's on the floor entertaining the guest. And there's times when he's sitting there having a drink or he's on his phone up against the wall. So you go to the nightclub. Since you're artists are already in the nightclub, this is how you run the day to day. Now, there's two ways to get income from your nightclub. One is the gate money, the cover charge. Notice that the wall safe has currently $50,000. Well, your wall safe will max cap at $250,000, which means it's going to blink. It's going to be red instead of white. Your dollar amount is going to be red. And that's when you have to empty out your safe so you can deposit it into your bank account. Otherwise, no additional nightclub tape is going to come in. So keep that in mind. The other method of earning money is through the sale of illicit businesses underneath the floors of your nightclub, which is once you sit down as a CEO, because you can only run this business as a CEO, but not as, a MC, as an MC club, I'll hit the A button to hit access. So this is your computer interface terminal for the nightclub. For example, I've completed 49 nightclub jobs. Nightclub earnings equal up to $22,272,000. The nightclub earnings are, are basically your gate money, your cover charge. When you, every time you empty out the safe, this adds up. If you do a warehouse sale, that means you're selling your other businesses through the larger fronts of the nightclub. And we're about to get to that in a moment. And so far, I've done 11 sales equaling up to $12,081,350. But the t total earnings of everything combined is, as you can see, $34,353,350. And your total stock, my total stock, currently is at 95 units. Now the maximum units you can have is 360 units. Once you top that up, the dollar amount increases. But one thing you have to keep in mind is that there's about three types of vehicles that will allow you to carry a certain amount of units. You start off with this little van, which I don't recommend because you're only gonna carry no more than possibly 90 to 100 units. But when you get the second vehicle, which is like a mini version of a truck, you can sell up to 180 units. But once you get the, the Pounder, which is a huge semi truck with a huge trailer, you can do a full sale of up to 360 units, which is key. So I don't let go of nightclub merchandise until I reach over a million dollars. And to keep in mind is that Tony is gonna take 100 Take, he'll take no more than $100,000, which is usually about 10% of what you make. But the limit he'll take is $100,000. So if I sell about over a million dollars worth of product, Tony's gonna take $100,000 of that, no matter what percentage, he'll, he'll take $100,000. That's his laundering cut. Now we go to nightclub management, where it's the front end, for example, you can promote the club where you're doing these special missions for the clubs in which either Tony or Laszlo is going to inform you what you need to do from getting celebrities to come here to like doing delivery jobs as bringing home a truck full of champagne or protecting the nightclub's image by eliminating paparazzi type people, anyone that's trying to exploit celebrities and give the nightclub a bad name. There's that. And so that you make $50,000 per GTA day, you gotta make sure this nightclub popularity meter is full. Make sure the gauge is full. And there's like five 
a five bar increment, which you'll see. So that your nightclub is making the full amount every TTA day. It's 50,000 out of 250,000. Once you reach 250,000, empty the safe, as I always do. Then we go to the resident DJ. <laughs> when you need to know who's the current DJ, it will be listed as resident. In this case, Dixon is the current DJ. But at any time, I can switch to Solomon, Tale of Us, or the Black Madonna, who's been renamed as the Blessed Madonna. So I'll pick the Blessed Madonna. Now, depending on where you are in the nightclub, for example, if you're in the main office of the nightclub and you select the DJ, and you select any one of the four DJs, it's gonna go to a cutscene where the previous DJ, in this case Dixon, is gonna leave the stage and make way for the Blessed Madonna or Solomon or the Tale of Us coming to take over the DJ show. So keep that in mind. But if you're on the second level, which we're about to go, and you decide to sub out a DJ, you bypass. It. There's no cutscene. There's no mandatory cutscene. So we go to the warehouse management. Now you have a total of five warehouse technicians. You start off with the first technician, in this case, Johan. But when you accrue enough money, you can hire additional tech as much as you can hire additional DJs and I should mention too is that you'll start off with Solomon but then you'll have to pay money in this case a hundred thousand dollars for the additional DJs you got Tale of Us Dixon and the Blessed Madonna you're gonna be doing a specialty mission to usher them in to bring them into the club for example in the story, in the DLC of the nightclub, the first DJ you get to come to your club, to open your club, is Solomon. And the situation is that he's on a plane that's about to crash. And he's being walk, worked through, he's being walked. You know, he's being given some encouragement on how to safely land a plane. That's through English Dave, Dave who is a, a drug addled, he's a drug addled club booker. But of course, Solomon saves the day, you bring him to the nightclub safe and sound. Then you've got the Tale of Us mission where you actually have to acquire a specialty luxury vehicle for them. And once you bring it to them, you bring them to the club. Then Dixon has his DJ equipment stolen from somebody and you have to get it back safely so that he can be brought to the show, otherwise you fail the mission. And the finally, last but not least, the Blessed Madonna, who was originally called the Black Madonna, you have to save her from the police because she's been arrested for holding some kind of nightclub rave and you have to get a specialty helicopter the cargo bob to bring her safely out of police custody and then bring her on to the show and notice how it's ten thousand dollars to rebook djs originally you'll pay a hundred thousand dollars just to pay the DJ you know just to pay the DJ for them to come and do their DJ sets at your show which is their own selection of music of licensed music by the way but when you rebook them it's only gonna be ten thousand dollars every time so you only pay a hundred thousand dollars once per the remaining three DJs after that it's just ten thousand dollars to rebook next we go back to warehouse management and as I've mentioned before you start off with Johan as your first technician. When you have additional spaces and when you have additional illicit businesses to launder, you'll hire all five additional staff. This guy, this guy, this guy, this guy, and this guy. Now, notice what the several illicit businesses have been renamed so they look good on the books thanks to Tony Prince's, you know, business acumen for shady activity. Cargo and shipments refers to the air freight cargo. Pharmaceutical research refers to methamphetamines or meth. Cash creation refers to counterfeit money. Sporting goods, of course, is gun running business. Organic produce is the cannabis. South American imports is the white powder or coke. And then print and copying is document forgery businesses. Now, once these businesses fill up and that's when you need to switch your technician to another part of the uh, business that they're trying to set up it's going to be indicated this check mark is going to be an exclamation mark once it's capped for example 
the goods accrued versus the goods sold. I've sold over 1,876 goods, but I've accrued 1,960. So there's seven, I have seven available businesses and five techs assigned. Now, once you have a great majority of the businesses filled, you'll only have about one or two other businesses that take forever to generate units. And the ones that take forever to generate units are sporting goods, which is gun running, and organic produce. So you start off with, for example, if you have businesses from the Motorcycle Club or CEO DLC, you start off with cash creation, pharmaceutical research, South American imports, printing and copying, and cargo and shipments. Fill those any one of those businesses first before you go to sporting goods and organic produce. That's a pro tip for you. Then you go to the sell goods screen. Now with the sell goods screen, this tracks the units. On one hand, you have the units you've accrued so far. On the other hand, you have the maximum opposite of the hot, uh, the backslash of the forward slash. For example, cargo or shipments, you can have up to 50 units. South American imports, you can have up to 10 units. Organic produce, up to 80 units. Cash creation, up to 40 units. Print and copying, up to 60 units. Pharmaceutical research, up to 20 units. And finally, sporting goods, takes up to 100 units. But then there's also special orders that will appear. These will actually become available once they have been highlighted. And you can select, let's say you don't want to sell your whole warehouse, you can sell to specialty clients right here. At any given time, that is once they have been highlighted at full, full purple. If not, you just want to sell all your goods in one sitting, you wait for it to accrue enough that you think is enough money to make the sale. And then you go and sell. And then we've got finally the upgrades menu. And the upgrades menu is highly absolutely positively recommended. You've got equipment upgrade, which is you purchase this upgrade to install higher quality equipment. This will improve the productivity of your warehouse technicians, allowing them to accrue goods faster. You got the staff upgrade, which is which makes perfect sense. You'll start off with one bartender, one security person, and so on and so forth. Purchase this upgrade to hire additional bartenders and bouncers. This will reduce the daily popularity loss of the nightclub. In other words, if you started off with one bouncer and one bartender, you are going to lose your popularity real quick. So keep that in mind. And the dollar values you don't see anymore because I purchased and upgraded everything. But they range, it takes probably a total of anywhere about up to $3 million to get everything. Just a heads up. And then you've got security upgrade. You purchase this upgrade to install security guards and surveillance equipment. This will reduce the likelihood of the nightclub being attacked by enemies. And I should mention too is that certain businesses are going to have random events that will happen anytime sadly and you have to defend them. For example, that your nightclub can get robbed or raided if you don't have security. And you have to resolve that. Otherwise you lose product or you lose popularity. So that's the menu right there. You can also watch the DJ shows. So there's Dixon and there's multiple camera views. You can even hire dancers as you can see like right there. Now, I stand up and very important is that if you are using the secure serve, you want to make sure you retire so that a random event does not start off. So right now we're going to go down to the one of the few basement levels. And it's a good idea to have about four or five levels open so that you can get the maximum amount of product to circulate before you make the sales. So this is the second desk as I mentioned before. But first, we're going to check out with the other technicians. That was Yoko talking to me. These are the other technicians. Johan is Johan just running his mouth. That's Johan. So this is document forgery. This is uh, air freight cargo. Air freight cargo here. The white powder. Blue stuff. 
great stuff. More contraband. And just like your popularity level, your stock level has five increments. Once you have that filled up enough for all the way, it's a good idea to do this. The nightclub sale, warehouse sale mission. Now if you go back over here, you're gonna have a specialty garage where you have the three types of vehicles. Now you notice I have not upgraded this, uh, the Speedo van and there's no point in that. And next we've got the, uh, we've got the mule, this is what it's called, the mule. And the maximum amount of units the mule can hold is 180. And when you select these vehicles, by the way, you go into travel and transport through also Warstock Cash and Carry. Now, those vehicles that you just saw, you had to get the custom version that allows you to have the upgrades, which you cannot get the, the basic model because you will not be able to upgrade it. And even if you resell the vehicle, you're not going to get much money because you only put so much in it. So anyway, scrolling down here, and these are nice vehicles, by the way, and some of them aren't performance-wise aren't nice or rash investments, I should say. Now going down here as an example. I'm going to use the filter for whatever the low price so it's easy to find so sort by a price now this is the basic mule if you were to buy this right now you will not be able to upgrade it but if you bought the mule custom which is only seventy two thousand dollars you'll then only then you'll be able to do custom stuff to it like what you saw in the garage like for example armor plating, bulletproof tires and shields and stuff like that. The other vehicle that you can finally upgrade is the Pounder Custom which will only set you back 241,000 GTA dollars. And again you can also get custom weaponry such as missile battery, heat seeking missiles, bulletproof tires and armor plating to protect the vehicle f from being damaged by NPCs, but <clears throat> when it comes to other players in GTA, they will destroy. It probably takes about three or five rocket blasts from the oppressor to destroy your product, so keep that in mind. And that is, once again, why I don't sell in public lobbies. But certain vehicles require you to either have a hangar or it's through Pegasus Residential that you can summon them anytime. Now this vehicle is the Stromberg, which is an aquatic amphibious car. That once it goes into the water, it can convert into an amphibious under submersible vehicle. As you can see, it's in the water. You can also get boats in addition to planes and helicopters. Now planes, of course, they will require you to have hangar space. Which means you will have to go under, uh, let's see here. If you want to get a hangar, you'll have to go to the Maze Foreclosure Bank. And you'll select hangars, as well as there's clubhouses, bunkers, facilities, nightclubs, arcades, and auto shops. So you'll select hangars. Now the lowest cost hangar, as with... The ending, close to the ending of this week's uh, sale, one million two hundred thousand dollars versus one million five hundred twenty-five thousand dollars. Now, the hangar that costs the most is either going to be the one at Fort Zancudo, the Fort Zancudo hangar, which is two point six, or it's the Fort Zancudo hangar A2 is worth three point two million. And this one is two million. So there's only five places to go for hangers. Now, if you buy a nightclub, like the one I'm in, initially I bought the nightclub at a low end, which is the furthest bottom, Elysian Island nightclub. 
I strongly advise not to buy this nightclub. Oh sure, it's cheap. But cheap, as I mentioned before, does come with a price. Because it's on the lowest end part of the map when you're doing certain missions that require you to travel around the city and into Blaine County. And if you're at a far distance, you are more likely are not going to make the delivery. So, it's in a poorest location. Cheap price, poor location. Keep that in mind. Then we have... Next, we have... LSIA Nightclub, which is at the airport. Then you have the Vespucci Canals, which my second avatar has this location. It's near Venice Beach in real life, but it's called Vespucci. You also have Strawberry Nightclub. It's a good, I would say it's about a good location. It's within the heart of the Los Santos. Mission Row, which is like the, uh, Impoverished area of Los Santos, La Mesa, Cypress Flats, but in the most expensive location, I think the most expensive location for the nightclub has to be the one in Vinewood. And notice that there's actually week daily paid rent, and since you've got millions of dollars like I do, this is it's nothing. So the most expensive nightclub is in West Vinewood. It says, it's hard to find a suitably scuzzy location in West Vinewood. This place was actually in pristine condition until we paid some drifters to live in it for a couple of months. Now it has all the character needs, and then some. Once you've selected your nightclub, once you bought your nightclub, and you, you'll do certain missions to get it all set up. Everything from getting the sound system, still in it, getting the staff, and then getting the DJ. And you do those three things and you start your nightclub. Let me see that. You do all those things? So, my nightclub is in downtown Vinewood, which is Hollywood. So, I'm in a good spot, too. So, if I wanted to renovate the nightclub, for example, I could change the style. Like this, see? If I wanted to change the lighting, you can even give it the several pre-selected names, like Omega, Gafangis, Paradise, Masonette, Los Santos, Studio, The Palace, Technology, Galaxy, or Tony's Funhouse. Then you have storage space. And the storage space works for two ways. There's two types of storage space. Storage space for your other businesses. You can have up to five levels, which I have. And then you have spaces for your vehicle, the floors for your cars. Because you can have, I think, you can have a fleet of about ten cars per floor. And you can have up to four floors, which is a total up to 40, 40 vehicles you can store. Right now, I just have two. The first floor only has one spot. It only has one spot parking space for the car of your choice. While floors 2, 3, and 4 can hold up to, in this case, 30. 10 on each floor, that is. And then you can select the dancers. Now, there's, not only is there two choices of genders, you can have two girls, two boys, or a boy and a girl. You can also have the style of how they're dressed. Like, anything from day glow body paint to leather to burlesque style so me I just have two girls I'm not going to mess with it. There's also the option of dry ice. So you get out of that. So the other floors are going to have extra spaces. But there's also the option of getting what's called the uh, terabyte. And you go into war, start cash and carry again. The terabyte is this vehicle right here, which I, which I already have. 
I can summon it, and this vehicle allows you to do some additional types of missions and drone technology. You can get it or you don't. But it's similar to that of the Mobile Operations Command Center. But there's also the Avenger, which I don't have. And in order to get the Avenger, you either have to have a hangar or you have to have a facility, similar to that of a bunker. However, the, the bunker cannot hold a vehicle of this caliber. And you also have Project Overthrow can be operated once you purchase this vehicle after you've gotten the hangar, of course, for doing the special Los Santos Angels missions in Project Overthrow versus Merriweather. So keep that in mind. You can also buy the Kasatka for the Cayo Parico Heist. The Kasatka is a submarine. It's a decommissioned submarine. So from here, we can go into the terabyte garage. And that only becomes available, like I said before, is once you buy the terabyte. It's its own specialty floor. So you get inside. It's a floor below. So it's fully decked out and customized. So when you have the inside, and you go with any type of available color scheme, you can also get the oppressor, which will run you about four to six million dollars. It's a, it's a sled that shoots missiles. You can sit down here and actually, control, when you're outside, you can control guns and stuff, as well as run base operation missions from it, as well as drone attacks. So there's that. Yes, this is what's called the nerve center. Let me exit out of that. Out here, you're able to do custom stuff. On this side, once it becomes highlighted and available, you go to the where you go to the. I think it's probably the other side, like right here. Go to the, uh, the call, the workspace. I think if you can get inside, how you do that, how you bypass that is you get inside, you will hit the right directional keypad. You can select armor, brakes, engine tuning, horn, lights. Headlights, lost fetching plate. You can actually change the plate. And by the way, I need to change the plate to this anyway. So we're gonna go with the Baron. Make it black yellow. You can respray. You can use chrome, which I have, classic. Adjustable paint jobs, crew, which is the crew color, matte, which is no shine, which is basic dull color, flat paint with no shine, with no shine or shimmer, metallic, metals, brush metal, gold, pearlescent. That's only if you use like a classic paint job, and then you follow it up with pearlescent. Then you got the secondary color, which you'll see adjust on its own. See that? You got the suspension where you can lower the vehicle. Like right now it's completely slammed. Transmission, I go with race transmission. Turbo, turbo tuning, wheels, type of wheels, wheel color, and what type of tires you wanna have. Custom tires are gonna have the Atomic brand embroidered on the tires. You have enhancements like bulletproof tires so they won't get shot out by the police or NPCs. Tire smoke so when you're doing burnouts you can have colored colored smoke. You got windows you can adjust the you go from non to light smoke to dark smoke to limo. After that you're ready to take off with the vehicle or you can exit. You have 
Exit the vehicle workshop, exit the vehicle, or exit the garage, exit the vehicle. So now, and from time to time, there'll be some random events that occur in the nightclub. Anything from picking up VIPs, or I mean, VIPs who have passed out in the nightclub and getting them home to their de getting them to the hospital or to their home without incident, which will be good for nightclub popularity. Or you end up having to kick people out who are. Killing the vibe at the nightclub. You'll get a text message from Marcel or Tony. You get a text from Marcel. Who's the doorman. The, the lead bouncer. And you can just toss them out. And your popularity will go up. Now, here's what happens when you sub out a DJ. If you sub out a DJ, as I said. If you sub out a DJ when you're in your main office of the nightclub. You will go to a cutscene. In which the previous DJ will leave the stage will leave the console and the current resident DJ will step in in this case the Blessed Madonna so I'll select her only ten thousand dollars to read to uh, rebook and watch what happens Dixon is leaving and the Blessed Madonna returns Now your character, of course, can dance in the club, and you can actually get paid for dancing. While you're going around in the club, you can also keep in mind that there's going to be some people you may have to kick out. So, if you switch out your DJ... Or you kick out a riffraff, you kick out somebody, a troublemaker out of the nightclub, you can instantly raise your popularity meter. So right now, the popularity meter is at full five bars. If it's less than that, the money, the income, the nightclub take begins to get low. And even once it reaches 25000 you'll get a call from Tony telling you to uh, do some club promo missions just to get the popularity going. So this is for the first time, everybody's out. There's no long line, there's no people outside waiting. So I'm back out on the floor. There's also, because of the Los Santos Drug Wars DLC, you get access to your acid lab. And what I should mention too is that you, there's, it's split in two parts. It's a two part, you know, storyline. It's called First Dose and Last Dose. The First Dose will contain six missions. When you're part of the Fulligans, you know, who are a bunch of zonked out acid dealers that you become partners with and doing missions for them. You'll have six missions in the la First Dose and in the Last Dose you're just going to have five missions. But each of those, when you do those missions, you're going to get access to a, a specialty vehicle. In the first dose, you're going to get access to your acid lab, but you have to do 10 special missions for DAX. Once you have those done, you can actually upgrade your acid lab to produce much faster. But anyway, with some of the uh, vehicle, and notice that my um, nightclub take is now $100,000. Once it reaches $250,000, which is five $50,000 days, the safe becomes full with $250,000 to which you actually have to withdraw empty from your safe and deposit into your account. Now, you can, s let me summon my vehicle. Or better yet, I can call my mechanic and select which vehicle I want. What you need boss, some wheels? I can bring them around. The Eclipse Boulevard Garage. I got two spaces. But what I want is...
get the versus Viserys I remember what other vehicle I had. I think it's the Torero. Yeah, that's it, the Torero. It's on the way. Okay, I got stuff to do. This one looks like a Lamborghini. I think the trail is based off the Lamborghini. You be the judge. This is it. You got that 80s Miami Vice feel to it, just like Vice City, huh? And by the way, Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to be coming out in a couple, about a couple of years, and it's going to be one of the most expensive games ever made. And the map for uh, Vice City is going to be bigger because it's going to be all, all encompassing Florida. I think I heard about three or four times as big as Los Santos, San Andreas. So anyway, person nearly hit me, but here's my acid lab vehicle, my mobile acid lab. And every day, just like in addition to when you check out, check in at the casino, you do your daily spin. Well, this one is where you have to make sure you, exp you know, the boost of the productivity of the acid lab. And notice how my acid lab is completely full. Good to see you. And it's gonna blink. It's gonna be red. The icon on the map is gonna be red, indicating that you are full. Your full capacity. Your acid is full capacity and it's ready to sell. And there's gonna be several acid cell missions which allows you to make quick, easy money. So right now, I'm boosting the production, similar to that in the TV series Breaking Bad. So that's done. So my all my supplies are full, and the product, and I'm full of product. So there's that, I'll sell later. Now, there's two ways of how you can supply your acid lab. You can pay Mutt, your cook, your on-site cook, to get the products for you or you can do the uh, supplies where you can do your own supplying for the acid lab by doing missions in which you steal from competitors without pay of course the same thing can be said about when you're doing your gun running business you can pay for product or you can steal it which I choose to pay for it so because I have other things to do so now as with the other DLC and the other businesses, we're going to go to the, let's see, what's next? I've got the auto shop, i got the arcade, I also got the agency. So we're going to go to the auto shop. And I'm being told that this week, when it comes to the Thursday update for GTA Online, the auto shop, you're going to be making double money with the auto shop. In addition to the vehicle deliveries, it's, it's, I think it's double or triple money with the auto shop. And this is coming from YouTuber TGG, aka The Gaming Gorilla, from Australia. Shout out to him. So, this is my auto shop. Need to go take some pictures of this vehicle for the Rockstar uh, Social Club and also the Facebook group I'm in. So anyway, you have a full-fledged legitimate auto shop, but it's also a front for a lot of auto shop contract robberies. See so yeah. it? These are my rides. And you can also do Hey, since this is an auto shop, you can actually do custom repairs like this. I'm going to modify the vehicle. Watch this. Service the vehicle. Oh, this one's worth a lot, I think. Respray. 
but I'm probably going to sell it tomorrow as once the uh, update kicks in. Respray the vehicle. Now, the customer is going to want racing green. Now, these are these custom jobs are auto-generated. I mean, you can get the worst, the customer is going to select the worst color scheme possible. But since they're paying, that's what you have to cater to what they're looking for. If you're trying to deliver a vehicle and it doesn't have the features they so want it, you're going to get less money. And it's also going to be bad for the shop. So, customer is always right. In this case, in GT Online. So, we're going to go with Racing Green as the paint job. That's Respray. And then we got the Performance Upgrades. Requested Upgrades includes Engine Tunes. That's EMS Upgrade Level 2. So, you go to Engine Tunes, EMS Level Upgrade 2. You could try to do 3, but I'm going to be within the customer's needs. Transmission. Sports Transmission. And these features do make a difference. They're not cosmetic. We got brakes. Street brakes. Now at the bottom right corner of the checklist, once those checklist features highlight green, that means you are filling the needs of the customer. If you select something and it turns white, that means you are not catering, you're not skewing to the customers, you're not heeding the customer's demands for what they want done with their car. So keep that in mind. Go to body work, engine tunes, let's put turbo on there. They're not going to say no to turbo tuning. So we go to, to uh, body work. Performance is all checked off, so go to body work. Now, requested upgrades are air filters. You go to air filters, painted V8. That's painted V8, check. You go to hood catches. So you go under uh, hood. You select modern hood latches. Go to hood catches, modern hood latches, that's that. Go to rear bumpers, so you'll select bumpers. There's front bumpers and there's rear bumpers, so select rear bumpers in this case. Secondary painted accent, that's selected. Next, we go to wheels. Wheel type, high-end wheels, that's the type. And then specifically, dash VIP. Select that. So dash VIP is going to look like this. Now I like to coordinate with the colors. For example, I'll either go with black or I'll go with the matching color. But I will say this. It's either going to be matching the paint or it's going to be just black. So get the closest. Like regular green. Now this one is important. It's okay for bulletproof tires. They're not going to dispute that. Now when it comes to tire design. Now. It depends on whether the customer is going to want. The tire design. To either be blank. Or to have custom tires. Okay. It's good because the wheels selection feature the featured selection didn't go back to white instead it's still green so that's good so we can also give it some green smoke tire smoke got all that done it's confirmed said it would cost fifty thousand dollars but you get paid thirty thousand dollars upon delivery so in other words I'm about fifty grand for this uh, work job and you do have the option to either deliver the vehicle yourself which I totally recommend or if money is no object to you and I say that because you can have the staff deliver the vehicle only it's not guaranteed to get there undamaged so keep that in mind so I'm gonna I would deliver it myself but I'm gonna back out of this I'm gonna stop and back out of this and sell this later for when the update for when the update comes 
So right now this vehicle is ready to deliver, so is this one. But I'm going to save that for tomorrow so I can get double money on these deliveries because normally you'll get up to $50,000 per delivery worth a certain amount, depending on the value of the vehicle. But in this case, tomorrow is going to be double with the update. This is Shisa this is Sasanta. And she and her boyfriend are completely annoying. But they are your, they are your go-to persons, but these are the the auto shop contract robberies that you t you'll partake in, which you'll get paid for, and they of course get a cut. So anyway, I'm gonna get grab my vehicle. The Torero. Take some shots. I'm gonna do it in another area that's brightly much better lit. Put my high beams on. If you like, I like to take this time to say that if you like what you see, and this is your first time visiting my YouTube channel, please do me a solid and subscribe, like, and comment, and hit the notification bell for the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel, as I'll be putting additional content on in this year alone and beyond. So anyway, let me go park this vehicle someplace. I can take some decent shots. Oh, there's also some street dealers, which they've added into the game, which originally was an RP idea for the RP body community to feature street dealers. And most recently, Rockstar Games had acquired 5M, which is the leading RP that has the RP server. So. It's going to be Rockstar Games RP. So anyway. And some random people will take pictures of your vehicle. The NPCs will take pictures of your vehicle as you just saw. So right now there's somebody that's a, a street dealer. Which I'm going to sell him or her my wares. This case is one of the uh, ballers. It's a dealer. So I'm about to sell to him. These bitches love texting me. Scandalous. And I'll say the most random stuff. So I'm gonna sell the green stuff. True. For 31, for 10 times the amount. Blue stuff. Word. White stuff. And that other stuff. Also, so I made about 82. Word up, player. All right. Later. All right. Now let's bake this money. And I highly, strongly advise not doing sell missions in public lobbies. Unless you don't mind losing your product. No matter how much you know, people you got to protect, to me it's not worth it. Losing your stock when you can just do it in a private lobby. I am big on private lobbies. I proselytize private lobbies. The importance of private lobbies. Private lobbies. Ah, <laughs> shit. Private lobbies. Now, let's go get some, let's see if we can get some decent pictures. In a good area. Maybe this is good, so we'll stop here. Get some shots for the Rockstar editor. Playing around with some filters.
Leave the door up. Now, as I mentioned, we're gonna ask the. Oh, look. There's some random crimes that are committed. Looking on the map, there's a red dot. Now, someone has just did an armed robbery. And there's that, there's that person right now. I'm gonna stop him. And you do have the option of giving back the money. But you've got about, I think, about a few minutes before they turn the police on you. Not gonna let that person get away. Now we shoot at least. Burn, baby, burn. I've got these incendiary rounds. That will set anyone on fire. Now I'm going to pick up the money. I'm going to return it. Now you've got two minutes on the clock. You you won't be able to see it. But you actually do have uh, two minutes on the screen to return. The stolen money. Otherwise, the police will come after you. But it doesn't make much of a difference anyway. But you're not... You're only going to get about $20,000 for returning the money, so you can leave off with it. I think they just robbed the Bob Lane. This is one of the several places you can go to get your hair cut. In game, online, or storyboard. It's the Bob Lane. Supposed to say Bob Mullet. So you get $20,000 for that. We're gonna stop at Record A, which is Dr. Dre's record studio. So we're gonna get a tour of that. Well, hopefully the music's been cut off. Because there's times where Dr. Dre will be in the studio. Hey, what's good? There's DJ Pooh as himself. Peace out. You can buy some apparel here. So in the contract DLC where you got to get Dr. Dre back his music, there's a hey sequence up. in which you get to sh there's a shootout at the studio with the person who originally leaked the music, and you have to defend, say, Dr. Dre and his Hi. and his entourage from Bye. the assault. In fact, that's actually one of my GTA Machinima, which is the series making that GTA. It's called the CSA, and it features a the contract DLC of Dr. Dre, where the storyline is about him getting back his music. Some whiskey. Now you'll get a bulletin saying that Dr. Dre is arrived at the studio where he's going to do his recording session. And you can actually get a private show. Bye. Bye. What else is here? At certain rooms you can't go in. They're off limits to the public, even to you. You can exit. Exit the roof. You can't access that part. Now you can do the special, uh, Short, tri short trip missions where you s ingest a certain strain and you end up switching into f you and another player end up switching to Franklin and Lamar for doing the three part short trips missions which is also another DLC that I made into a machinima as well which is a Rockstar edited GTA videos hey, what's which going you can on, check man? out now I'm about right, to leave later. now we're about to go to the agency Turn off the map. 
This is the agency on Little Seoul, which is Little Korea. Now I am playing on the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 650 Ti 1GB of RAM. It's not bad, but compared to y'all who have much better computer hardware than me, this is 60 frames a second. 40 to 60 frames a second, depending on what features you, you've dialed in for, for quality. Now, I don't necessarily see the uh, all the bells and whistles of the effects given, you know, by the video card's uh, performance, but for this case, for what I've got, this is fine enough. But when it comes to other games, that's a different story that I'll be previewing on my channel as in the form of gaming walkthroughs. That's another story. So, I can enter into the garage of my agency. Now there's the feature called Imani Tech. Now certain compatible vehicles will have that feature that you can get from using, I guess, gunfire, you know, like guns and specialty guns and landmines and specialty landmines as well. So I'm up, going up to the top floor of the agency. Let me switch back to V mode. So I'm at the top spot of my agency. That's the first floor. Franklin Clinton and partner. I can use this to fill up on my snacks. When I'm in the field and I'm engaged in, you know, firefights, I always make sure I bring enough snacks and armor. You can sit down, but I'm not trying to sit down, so that's a mistake. So I get right to the table. If you need to get snacks right away. Okay, I'm full. These are my uh, security staff. Good, boss. Reception, receptionist people. That one doesn't say as much, but he does. There's old Franklin right here. He, along with Trevor, are the only GTA characters from Story Mode that appear in GTA Online. Michael has yet to show up. This is my main office for when I'm doing the contract missions in addition to VIP contracts. That's, of course, the Dr. Dre missions. Then you have the uh, regular contracts. And there's a safe here that fills up, I think, at $100,000, if not 250 so when I go up here to the top floor of the agency, to the second floor, which makes it the top floor, I have an armory where I can get all my weapons, including my MK2 mods. But let's drink some of this Mr. Limey juice, which is probably a combination of beet and cranberry or whatnot. This is Amani. Hey, boss. The brains, and she runs all the tech when it comes to the missions. When you're doing in the DLC for the contract, she's the go-to resident tech person. She's a valuable asset to the agency. See ya. Got then we've cool got here for you. Franklin's uh, pal, who runs the, I who's the requisitions talking. officer. You can get your weapons, pipped out, topped up. Upgraded, and you know, unlike in ammunition, you own the place after all. Custom builds, machine guns, rifles. This Arborite rifle with the MK, anything with the MK2 is upgradable weaponry. Everything from paint jobs to certain types of uh, munitions. In this case, certain types of. Uh, magazines you can have as tracer rounds incendiary rounds which I have which will cause will incinerate people and objects on the spot armor piercing full metal jacket grips flashlight modifications stuff like that I'll be here if you need anything scopes muzzles barrels 
library where you can change the paint jobs, covers, tints. You can even revert from the upgrade. And you can slip back to up, up, uh, upgrade for free because you already paid for it, which is a good, good thing. Hey, let me know if you have any questions. I'm going to switch back. Yep. The carbine. Wade Bucks tent. Mm. That's free. Smart. Why not, right? Bucks man. Swade Bucks finish. Pretty limited edition. I'm gonna switch to incendiary rounds. Shotguns. Take your time. Sniper rifle. Long place after all. Heavy weapons. Very good. Explosives. We fill up on the proxy mines. You can have up to five. Body armor. Parachute. So there's that. Keep your eyes open. Good. So let's go into the other room. There's Chop the dog. He's taking a nap and he's aged. You can turn on the television. Which is the full-fledged content. You know, in-game media in addition to the radio. This will not fall under the copyrights. So that's a good thing. So I'll sit down and turn on the television. I think. Yeah, there we go. Turn on. This is Moorhead Rides again, which is a kind of a period era sexist type series, TV series. Pokes fun of satire. They've got the, uh, Kung Fu Rainbow Laser Force, which is a conservative version of the Power Rangers. They got that. Now, two pro guys will play at the same time, but they're full-fledged episodes on two on the two channels. so scary! Shut up! Running out of places to slap you. We're fighting a red menace here. We've got no time for emotion. What did you do during a war, Gordon? I fought fascism. Are you in Germany? Italy? No, dumbass, Florida. Now shut your yap. Dumbass, Florida. <laughs> There must be another writer's room. Get something to drink. Place to sleep. Shower. Bath facilities. 
Change your clothes. See that? Just gonna go through. My apparel is pretty much selected. Exit to the ground. Go to the garage. I guess I'm gonna uh, split this in two parts, so. So you got a few floors. But with select vehicles, you can put the Amani tech on there. And there's certain vehicles you can upgrade at Benny's. Which is also going to be the uh, recent, that's going to be part of the new update come Thursday. And you'll know if it's a Mani Tech compatible vehicle when it shows. So I'll probably do that in the second part. But there's also payphone hits. So what else I had to show? Okay, let's go to the arcade. We also have motorcycle clubs as well. And their own set of missions. So the arcade is actually a front for doing the casino heist, robbing the, cas the diamond casino. And through Lester, you set that up. But it does have full fledged parodies of arcade games for you to actually play from puzzles to action. So it also has like an underground layer for when you're doing your heist planning, prepping and planning to rob the, the uh, casino, the aforementioned casino. But as I mentioned before, your arcade could be at the upper part of the map, which is in Blaine County, which is the worst place to actually set up an arcade because when you're doing missions, you're far off on the map, and you may not be able to meet the time limit. So, we're going to go right into the, um, this is my arcade of video, get it. No, this is a not bad area. It's a decent area, because it's, not, it's in the heart of Los Santos. So I'm about to get in. Now, you can visit other players' businesses. You just buzz you just hit the buzzer and they'll buzz you in if they'll let you decide to let you in so you have the option with your gta dollars to buy additional arcade unit arcade cabinets but these are full-fledged games my personal favorite is cube three oh, this is wendy hey. who is the general That's manager good. of the nightclub of not the nightclub the arcade okay i'm good on snacks so let me just get a shot sure nice and if you look at her closely, especially in the cutscenes, she almost resembles Emma Stone, only with dyed hair and a rainbow and a rainbow Whiskey? beanie. Now you can do custom stuff for the arcade as well. But the arcade, since it's a place that earns money legitimately, you can store up to $100,000 in your safe before you have to empty it out. So, there's Cube 3, so let's play that game. Like I said, these are full-fledged arcade games. They're not just for show. They're not cosmetic. Now, let's say if you have a party at your arcade, you can serve the drinks. And, oh look, who, who is this? 
Who is that? That's Jimmy from from the story mode. So he has a job here. But he's still lazy. So this is cube three. It's like the game touches. <laughs> The object of this game is to have the matching colored pieces so that the board can go down. See that? It's a pretty simple but fun game. Other games are kind of complex, like this one, Axe of Fury, which is a, a mallet playing game where you gotta hit the keys on this controller, hit the buttons really hard in order to win. It's a novelty game, but probably not worth buying unless you know what you're doing. Like I don't. Now. So that ends the game. Once you fill up, that ends the game. So you gotta press hold the B button to quit. Now, when you go in here, of course you can play music from the jukebox. Which I chose to leave off. You can come here and empty out the safe. Once it gets close to $100,000, you can empty out the safe anytime you want. Even if it's got a small amount of money in there. But the maximum capacity is 100 grand. Right now it's just 40 grand, so we'll just We'll pocket that anyway, because I may have to re-up my other businesses just to keep the production going. Like at the nightclub when it comes to my warehouse technicians. So, I'm going to use the secret entrance where Lester has a customized version of Madame Nazar, who's a fortune teller. Like, you ever seen the movie Big with Tom Hanks in it from back in the day? Where the kid makes a wish to be an adult and he becomes Tom Hanks. However, he's a kid inside an adult's body. If you're seeing wisdom from a fortune machine, you're a clown. And it has Lester's voice with snarky comments. So this is the master control terminal. This is how I re-up my businesses at the arcade. Without having to physically go to them. So that's good. So, as seen, the cocaine lockup needs to be re-upped. So does the meth, so does the weed, and so does the counterfeit cash. But, when it comes to document forgery, you never had to physically sell this business. So, you just, it's a set and forget business, so to speak. So now, I'm going to re-up the powder. So i got to make sure I'm in my motorcycle club business in order to do that, because these uh, drug businesses can only be operated through Motorcycle Club, with the exception of the meth lab. But then I gotta switch to the, uh, speaking of it, the blue stuff, resupply. Despite getting texts from either Long John Teabag, who's really Lester, or Agent 14, saying that resupplying by paying full money, paying money for supplies is eating into my profits, well, I disagree with that. Not so, especially when you it's best when it's like you'd rather go do other things rather than physically having to supply the missions by stealing products off of rival gangs or NPCs. No, I'd rather just pay and then go do other things. That's just me and that's probably you. Now, if I didn't have much money like I do now, buying, I uh, mean, stealing supplies would not, would not necessarily be much of an option, but it'd be would be arbitrary. It's okay, that's done. And I have to make sure I get out of certain businesses so I don't have a random event start. Very important. Over here, when I'm, let's say if I've done, if I'm about to do the uh, casino heist, that's the planning board. But the casino heist, in my opinion, is actually the toughest to do, where Kyle Perico isn't that tough. At that computer terminal with the laptop, I can order additional cabinets. Mm. 
Lucky's Paradise. Oh, hey. All right. You can watch TV there as well. Gonna exit. We're probably gonna do something a little competitive. I think we're gonna probably do a death match or do something because it's kind of uh, lonely in here. So when I reach, so when I come back tomorrow or whenever, I'm gonna respond. I'm gonna be in the auto shop, but. I think I'm gonna go into a public lobby and see what everybody's doing. Before I conclude. Or I'm gonna switch to my other character. Even yet. comes to my two avatars they're gonna have certain vehicles and DLC that I have bought for example the male character which I just switched out of doesn't have a facility for doing the doomsday heist whereas she has the most unlockable DLC that I had purchased including a hangar for air for air freight and speaking of air freight, I'm actually going to demonstrate the use of planes since I'm switching to this character, which I have not shown. So I'm back at the uh, casino. And I'm going to be engaging with some folks. Just another person. All right, we might be ready to move on this. Hello, I'm sorry, something else has come up. 
my plane is in the back of the casino where the racetrack is. Now, I bought this, it's going for about $3.8 million, but for the nostalgia factor, it reminds me of the G.I. Joe Cobra Rattler, a toy I used to play with growing up. And I would be surprised if they used the blue, original blueprint of the toy to actually come up with this vehicle in GTA Online. Because it's modeled exactly after that, except the wings do not fall like the actual toy. Now you got holy missiles, barrage missiles, barrage missiles, and explosive machine gun. Watch that summer fly. Uh, uh, it's my favorite plane. It's the sound of this missile. Uh, barrage missiles. Five was the first to actually have planes, so I would expect them in Vice City. GTA 6 comes out, but I'm gonna get it, of course, when it comes out for this. I'm not a console person. If you are joining, I would just like to take this time for you, if you like what you see, if you like the content I'm bringing to you, please feel free to subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell for some more Let's Play walkthroughs such as this, as well as making that GTA Machinima from the 9 to 5 Outlaw Does Gaming YouTube and Twitch channel. This is the B-11 Strike Force. Let's see if there's anybody in this game. Still, still by myself. And notice I have the music turned off it's so that I can avoid copyright issues with YouTube. Because they are pretty finicky.
about to order a, have a plate like this, you gotta have a hanger. the insurance company to get it back. Meanwhile, we'll just cause some random havoc. Raise up, sucker! Bam! What you gonna do? What you want? Let's go to first person. Aim at the sights. Right in the sights. Got you in my sights. Bam! Bam, sucker, here come the cops. Oh, I'm out of body armor. Oh, well, I need to stock up. That's when I can find the guns man, gun man guy from Liberty City. But oh well. Bam! Do, huh? What you gonna do? Jesus. Turn on the flashlight. This just isn't your day. Cocktail time, sucker. Bullet time. Burn, baby, burn. Shit. I'm about to go into my arena for Arena War. That's another DLC that I have only for this character. Now, if you have an Arena War vehicle, you will not store it in any other garage except the Arena War. Reason being is because of its weapons. It's already a non-street legal vehicle, and you can't fit it in any other garage but here. about to wreak some real havoc here.
about what's customized as a vehicle, though. We make it monster, okay? What are we doing then? What do you want? Your pop class of Baylor. Let's make this super intimidating. Push them into traps with that. I think I just got a heart on. Nice. That looks bad ass. Bulletproof tires are a bus. Boom. 
weapons. Yep, gotta have some cows. Rusted. Fifty cows. Here comes the firing squad again. So if I were to sell this vehicle, it'd be worth one point seven. Yep. So keep that in mind if I need to sell the vehicle. Let's exit the arena. Okay. Bye bye. Put this on the road. Let's do some damage. Now, Margie. You see this? Eat shit a chicken. Spike mines. Gonna try this adversary mode, the assault on Kyle Perico. Looks like we got a good bunch. Let me turn off the light.
Raise up, sucker. Raise up, sucker.